Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kaya. For those of you that are new and viewing, today I'm going to be installing Altrey's Melted Hairline Unit. This was in the style Lucienne. This is a synthetic wig, and I have it in the color Sandy Blonde. It is the DR4 slash Sandy Blonde. And just a little bit of details about this unit. It is 22 inches long. It has HD transparent lace. The Melted Hairline series of units comes with a frontal effect hairline. And it also claims to say that no plucking is required. You can use heat on it up to 400 degrees. And it has some baby hairs included as well. So the first thing I did was pluck the unit off of my head and then I also tinted the lace because the lace was just a little bit pale and once I tint the lace it usually blends into my skin a lot better so um, once I put the unit on I just started with cutting off the lace first and then I did a little bit of extra plucking wherever I saw that it was necessary um, this unit I'm going to use my Evan spray to install it today I'm just going to spray around the hairline and use just a tad bit of spray and I'll tie that down with my elastic hairband just to hold it in place. And then once the unit came out of the packaging, I saw how um, bent it was and that's probably just from how it was sitting in the packaging for a period of time. So I did have to use my flat iron on it. And I'm also going to use my hot comb on the roots. Um, so I needed to straighten out the hair since it had the crimps in it. And it straightened out pretty well um, considering that it is synthetic hair. And I felt like it didn't really lose um, any texture from it. Um, speaking of texture, the texture is pretty silky um, is the category I put it in. It's pretty silky hair and I feel like it might be that way because of the color option. Um, usually if you try like a natural color sometimes that one will have a little bit more texture to it than the lighter color shades so when i first got this wig my first thought was this unit reminds me of the lynette wig um, i'm not sure if you guys are familiar with it i have reviewed that one on my channel as well but it is from their perfect hairline series instead of the melted hairline but they are very very similar i think the only difference is that this unit is a little bit longer but i definitely felt like i was wearing the exact same wig to be honest um it just didn't have like the i guess perfect hairline to work with and that it was just a tad bit longer lynette also might be a little bit thicker than this unit so once I got finished with the installation process, I knew that I needed to add a little bit of layers into it. At least that was my attempt because it is literally the same length all the way around the entire wig. So just keep that in mind. If you're looking for something with layers, this unit wouldn't be for you because it is just long in the front and the back. And then I also started to see a few scraggle pieces at the end, I guess that came from brushing it and probably using the um, flat iron as well. So I had to cut the ends of it. And honestly, I was liking it a little bit more because it gave it like a bob effect, even though it was long, it was just like an extended bob basically a longer bob um, and I just felt like that made it look better I felt like the unit was tangling quite a bit and it also fell kind of thin towards the ends and I don't really like for especially if you're going to have longer hair you don't want it to look really thin at the ends and I feel like I mean that's in general you just don't want your ends to be super thin I just felt like the top was like super full but once you got to the end of the hair it didn't keep that same density that I would like to see um, the shedding was just minimal as well I didn't have too much shedding going on I think the pieces of hair that I did lose it was mainly because of the plucking that I did to the hairline overall I do like this wig I like that it um, 
it has that frontal effect hairline i don't like the fact that i had to pluck it so much to make it look natural because i felt like it was really full straight out of the pack um i don't care for the density of the wig i feel like it could have been a little bit thicker and i'm also not crazy about the texture do i think this is still a wig to add to your collection it's up to you i feel like it could be like a good every day type of wig maybe something that you just need to like throw on to like run to the store or maybe even just to wear to the office for the day i feel like it would be a good wig for that Um, but I feel like it's just it's kind of like a, a basic look it's nothing super special about it but um, I feel like the color kind of made it pop just a little bit more especially since I don't ever wear colors this bright or this blonde if you look through my recent videos you don't see much blonde on my page but I thought this was a really cute um, ash blonde so I might have to try the sandy blondes from Altre a little bit more because I thought it was a fun color. I don't know. You guys let me know. But um, overall, I probably rate this wig probably like a 7 out of 10. Um, like I said, it wasn't nothing super special, but it got the job done and it was cute like once it got styled. But I wasn't like super crazy over it, if you get what I'm saying. But um, that's all I have for you guys. Let me know if you have questions about the wig. Um, the link will be in my description bar if you guys are looking to purchase this unit and try it out for yourself. Thank you to Outre for sending this wig over. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.